In this video, I will show you the OnSemi IIS Camera Kit. It includes an AR0430 camera, the IIS camera extension and the VHD Plus Core Max 10. You first have to install the spacers. And then you can plug in the extension and the camera. If you are new to the VHD Plus IDE, download and install Quartus and the VHD Plus IDE. Then you are ready to start with FPGA programming. After that, install the VHD Plus libraries and the driver for the Core Max 10. And make sure that the path to Quartus is correct. Create a new project and choose between USB or HDMI. First, I show how the USB interface works. Here, the image streams are connected and you can see the components for receiving data from the camera, color correction, the SD RAM buffer and the USB interface. In the libraries are also options for object detection and more. You have to add the camera extension to connect the pins. The pins for SD RAM and UART are connected automatically. Compile the project, connect the board, and program the FPGA. Go to the serial monitor, select 12 megaboard, and the COM port. Then open the image viewer. In the image data file, you can see the exposure and maximum resolution. For testing, I first try the maximum resolution and start capturing images. The camera then sends the video to the FPGA. The FPGA saves the image in the SD RAM and sends the image with the UART to USB interface. The brightness is automatically adjusted by the FPGA. FPGA development boards with Cruvi high-speed port and faster USB interface can achieve higher frame rates. Also, we will release a high-speed USB shield in the future. When you reduce the image size, the frame rate is also increased. And in the IDE, the image then can be saved on the PC. Now I will show you how to output the video with HDMI and higher frame rate. Just select the HDMI interface and create the project. It has an HDMI interface instead of the USB interface. Add the extension again and connect the pins. Then compile and program again. So now you can see the video in 640 by 480 pixels and 60 frames per second. Because of the different aspect ratio, the image is a bit distorted on the display. For more information on how to use image processing and how to program the FPGA, check out our other videos on YouTube and the article on our website. 